sprinkles of spiritual sassiness. So you guys know that I want to start doing affirmations before every video. So wherever you are, no matter where you are, take a deep breath in. Release. I am safe in my body. I am safe in my body. Take a deep breath in. Release. So no matter where you are today, say that as many times as you need. <coughs> Why do I always have something in my throat every time I try to do a video? All right, guys. So I am all about holistic wellness, organic, natural, crystals, all that stuff. Like, I love it. I'm, I'm drawn to it. I've always been drawn to it. And now I get to kind of just like be it and live it oh this is tight be it and live it and be unashamed about it so i recently um read about this uh root powder called ashwagandha and i was uh researching different ways to assist me with my pms for me sometimes my pms i don't want to talk to anybody i get very very um very sad and very low very very low and very sad and just it's um i'm realizing that it's always been a battle for me i talked about it in one of my previous videos but i'm realizing that like right when i hit puberty i've had these belts of just really lowness with my pms and um um i just want to find holistic natural ways to handle it deal with it accordingly um so i discovered ashwagandha actually like during my research and um at work we worked with gwyneth paltrow's goop.com and um they were just like educating us on different herbs and ancient chinese herbs and indian herbs that they use in some of their products or some of the brands that they sell on their website so one brand that i've actually loved since i moved to la is moon juice moon juice was created by amanda chantel bacon i believe that's her name and she created this like holistic alchemy uh uh store that basically makes these like high level smoothies and juices and and foods and everything is raw and of the earth and she like made it in her own house like it's started from the ground up you know and um she has i think two locations here in los angeles and I'm a fan of her, I'm a fan of her story, and I'm definitely a fan of her juices. So I knew that I wanted to purchase ashwagandha from her brand. A lot of other people sell ashwagandha, um, like, what is it called? Something potion. I always forget what it's called, but it comes in like a blue container. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use ashwagandha because I know that it assists with the mind. I know that it's also like healthy for you. So... This is my, I'm going to talk about my experience with taking ashwagandha every single day for one week. And I want to just talk about the pros and the cons that I felt during, while I was taking ashwagandha. Alright, so first, what actually is ashwagandha? What the hell is ashwagandha? Ashwagandha is a thyroid balancer and anxiety soother. So that was also one of the major things that drew me to ashwagandha is to just handle everyday anxieties lovingly. So ashwagandha is a potent root that calms the body's physiological and nervous systems. This mineral dense adaptogen aids the thyroid, alleviates depression, improves sleep and contributes to virility. It's an adaptogen meaning that if whatever your body is chemically going through, whether it's going through stress or whether it's going through sadness, um, Prod uh, powders and roots like ashwagandha will assist in assisting you in however you're feeling. I know it sounds weird. I might be confusing it, but trust me, like I can vouch for this. We'll get into that later. Ashwagandha is one of the most powerful herbs in Ayurvedic healing, which has been used since ancient times for a wide variety of conditions and is the most well known for its restorative benefits. Let's read some more. 
So yeah, it helps with lack of energy, it helps with fatigue, it helps with stress, it helps with difficulty concentrating, it protects the immune system, helps combat the effects of stress, which is what an adaptogen does. Reduces anxiety and depression, like I said before, stabilizes blood sugar, helps lower cholesterol, offers anti-inflammatory benefits. So ashwagandha, I use it in my smoothies. It is a little bit bitter, not gonna lie, it's a little bit bitter, so I only add maybe like a teaspoon, not a whole heaping um, tablespoon of it in my smoothies. Um, and I absolutely feel a difference. I feel energized naturally. Because with coffee for me, and I'm sure with everyone else, it makes me way too jittery and I get sweaty and I just don't like it. I like the taste of coffee and sometimes I'll go on a weak coffee binge and then I'll just stop because it doesn't make me feel good and it makes me very twitchy and I don't like to be all twitchy like that. So let's get into me taking ashwagandha every single day and some of the pros and cons. So I actually documented it. So this was, I think for the first, the first day was July 20th um, and I was actually doing jury duty. So July 20th, that is usually when I am PMSing. So I unintentionally unintentionally was taking ashwagandha during PMS. Um, so I could feel the effects, meaning I could feel, I felt peaceful, I felt grounded. I just felt a beautiful stillness in me. Like So basically no anxiety, um, no stress, but I cried that day. Yeah, <laughs> I cried that day because my phone died and I couldn't find which bus to take. Um, and I hadn't eaten that day. So, and I was downtown and it was just a lot of commotion. So I got just like overwhelmed and I just started crying. Um, the second day, um, second day I felt calmness, but I was pretty deep in the PMS. So it felt like my head was going to explode, just full of thoughts and just pressure so i still felt calm but i was still deep in my pms -ness. um day three i felt fully minded but i was still in pms i didn't get my period yet but i felt better um day four i'm still in pms but i can feel a true peace in my body and i just felt good and I was doing my affirmations. So that can also contribute to me just feeling better. Day five, still in PMS, but I woke up feeling more present and aware. And I have to say, I think a lot of it had to do with me doing jury duty and the energy that's in court. I've never been, or oh, I've been in a courthouse once, but to be in that courthouse and it was just, a lot with those people with the other jurors it was a lot of like crazy ass energy so I I don't know like maybe that can also contribute to me just not feeling like that great day six it says that I didn't sleep well but I didn't let the fear stop me from oh my friend had a show and usually like I'm like oh I have social anxiety I don't know if I really want to go to this show but he's a good friend from high school and um, he's in a band called Hazel English you should check them out and they were touring and they're here in LA so I was like okay let me just go so um, also that day was just a really great high vibrating day I just had a really great day that day so um, I didn't mind going to see his show by myself um, and day seven, day seven, it says that I had an audition and usually that would scare me because I have to learn lines and I would usually go into a mini panic, but I remained calm and although the role seemed cool and doable, I couldn't make the audition. I still had no fear and I wasn't overthinking, which is what I usually would have done. I would usually be scared to email my agents because I just have this fear that they'll let me go, but I had jury duty and there was no way I could get out of jury duty. And I knew that I couldn't make the audition with the time constraints that I had. But anyway, I feel good. I feel like many anxieties no longer happen. I feel good. Ashwagandha, all in all, ashwagandha, ashwagandha doesn't stop a bad attitude or putting defenses up or stopping your negative thoughts. It just makes the moments that would be stressful not as stressful. 
So do I recommend ashwagandha? Yes. And maybe there are different herbs and roots that will work for me and will work for you. But at the end of the day, you can do all the affirmations you want. You can do all the yoga you want. You can do all the praying you want. But if you're still like not handling stress well, um, that means that you just still have work to do. These are not replacements for like, oh, I do yoga, so I'm a good person. Oh, I take ashwagandha, so I'm good. And it's like, no, all of those things together, as well as doing some deep work healing is what is going to assist in alleviating me from social anxieties, letting me um, not deal with things in a, in, a, in a not useful or helpful way when I'm stressed. But I will say ashwagandha absolutely does help me when in moments when I should feel stressed and I'm not. And that equal, that connects to anxiety and then making poor decisions. So um, I'm definitely going to be taking this. I'm definitely going to keep purchasing it. I believe it's $24 or $30 on moonjuice.com. I highly recommend getting it from, oh, the other brand is called Sun Potion. So I recommend getting it from Sun Potion or moon juice and it has to be just like high quality you can't get ashwagandha from any old person like you can't be doing that you can't be putting any old thing in your body so all in all i highly recommend ashwagandha if you are someone that works in a, a stressful position maybe or has a stressful job or you're just in a stressful place in your life i highly recommend ashwagandha for um for that as well as if you have anxiety it is definitely like it it helps with anxiety a lot a lot a lot so i thank you guys for tuning into this episode of beanie tv i hope that <clears throat> every time i hope that um i've been able to open you up to a new thing to add into your self-care wellness routine this is a great i like to put it in my um teas and i like to put it in my smoothies and i like i said it is a bit bitter and it doesn't dissolve that well in tea so a little bit is better for teas and um and not too much in your smoothies because it is a little bit bitter but um i take it every day or every other day and i just feel like sometimes i don't take it every day because i can still feel this kind of like peace and calmness and less stress like less anxiety um, in my body so I like to do it every other day but again it is not going to help you stop thinking negative thoughts it's, I don't know if it makes me feel better but I know it allows me to just like sometimes just handle situations much better than I used to so again I thank you guys for tuning in and I'll see you guys next video